Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. You can never win election because of what you achieve in government because of everything that we have done in government you only win election through information if winning election because of what is done is possible and eh? if winning election is is because of what you have achieved is possible Eddie Kalungu was not going to lose election he was going to win Eddie Galungu was working, but working with people that majority of them were selfish. No one was able to come and give out information. If, if through social media, uh, Mwebant is reaching 6 million people, Zambia report is meeting 4.6 million people, how many people are going to vote? So you see, election is won through information. And as we speak today, PF is the one that is in charge of social media. They control it. They give out the information. Look, let me say this. Even if President HH make uh, one quarter or one dollar to be equal to one quarter and make Zambia economy the economy of Dubai, without information, it's not going anywhere. We have lost it. Those that call themselves presidential aides, those that call themselves people that are appointed by the president, are the people that are supposed to find out what is going on. They will tell you that the people that sacrifice, thinking that they would benefit after UPN win election, are not benefiting. Those people that we are fighting on social media for UPN, Ailis. Sikaili, Sikaili, Kelvin Mukoka, Mr. Matomela. How many are there? There are so many to be mentioned. None of them have been remembered. They are still poor. And, and as we speak today, let me say this. As we speak today, most of the youth that campaigned that wanted to benefit from the fruit of their labor are neglected whereby a tender for fertilizer supply was called upon and youths struggled spent their money preparing documents saying now that we have a government of our own we will benefit that we are not given 50 percent of fertilizer d was given to alpha commodity mr alpha commodity i want to ask you your price is too high your price was very high compared to i have all the information at disposal for the right time your price was high. How did you manage to win a tender supplying 50%? How many millions of dollars? And to make the matter worse, I'm told that is the husband to the Minister of Information. Why is it why do people usually forget quickly? PF was removed because of corruption. In this government that all of us fought for, thinking that okay. Now, thank God that this government has come. They will be free, free of corruption. One man, one man, Mr. Alpha. I think we 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 must also uh, 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 we must also start worshiping you. Of all the whole company that competed, 
got 50 percent even brought in a company a different company and that company was also giving a tender and the youths that suffered for the party nothing was given to them now tell me how are you going to come back and win election tell me is it not the same thing we fought against i think people are not telling the president the truth people are not telling the president the truth the people that he appointed have destroyed not they will destroy they have totally destroyed upnd as we speak today there is nothing like upnd on the ground i swear if election has to be called today and you put Boman Lusambo in Kwacha and put uh, a, 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 a member from UPND. If UPND is working, how can our president, a whole president that has a lot of important things to do, spending five days in Copper Belt, going from house to house, what is the duty of our Secretary General? What is the duty of our member, Minister of only minister of copper belt and secretary general is enough to go and campaign if we are popular and we are going to win we are no longer popular the people that fought for the party have been neglected neglected i mean totally neglected the people that are eating not just eating you see one one good thing about pf even if they're very corrupt organization they never ate alone never we never saw it youths that campaign you that thought okay this is a fresh breath of life they campaign with their resources now there is opportunity for them to benefit for them to eat for them to win tender you go and win it alone and mr mr alpha alpha, uh, alpha commodity together with your wife the beauty queen continue where is Bowman Lusambo's wife and they have one million dollar perfume today you are even lucky Bowman Lusambo is lucky because he has met a, go a government that don't know what they are doing if I was there eh? if I was there by now even all those others i see you arresting people for mukula what what all this rubbish that you are doing arrest this person arrest this person arrest this person arrest this person did i lost hope about all these things when you arrested uh faith musonda and said you are forgiving her that's when i know that these things are not going anywhere let's just move on and proceed for the sake of the love we have for each church we'll keep supporting him but we are disappointed with all these things if it was me and I trust the next person that will come after a church. UPND must pray very hard that a church must hand over power to a UPND member. If it leaves UPND member, but a church, his ministers, his political appointees, so long as you served in this government, you are going in. I know what I'm talking about. I know the people that are queuing up to rule Zambia. You must be very careful. This is not a joke. This is government. I mean, this is not even a state government or a local government. This is a, a this is a, a whole federal government, a repub republican government. This is it. Be very careful. Those of you appointed, you refuse to help a church. I feel sorry for you. It's not only a church that will suffer if anything happens. Me, myself, I'm not going to suffer. Nothing, nothing is going to make me suffer. I want President H.A. to sit down, think about his future, and change things now where there is still hope. You can say we are working. Yes, you can work. Today, you gave free education. Who is talking about it? No one. You are you have employed how many teachers? Thousands of teachers. Who is talking about it? No one. Kwacha has stabilized. Now the second best performing currency in the whole world. Who is talking about it? No one. You don't win election by what you achieve. You win election by 
information and if you have to give out information information can never be given through a zmbc no one takes zmbc serious no one takes zmbc serious information must go out through the people that we are passing information when we are in opposition that is if you want the information to reach everyone please the minister of youths go back to the drawing board and remember the youths nothing is happening for the youth it's over a year nothing is happening for the youth the youth that sacrifice their money if you want me to give you the information i give you the information sacrifice their resources went to different countries source for fertilizer to come and supply fertilizer so that they can be like they can eat and feed their family and support the party you carry contract to give alpha commodity only him is he the only zambian is he the only one that campaigned for hh did i even know about him when we are campaigning for hh the youths that suffered for the party are still struggling the people that have been appointed by hh their tummy now is as big as a, 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 a nine month old pregnant woman their tummy is big like this and they don't care they don't even want to bring money to the party as it is today they cannot even sponsor any party program how many of them even visit the party secretariat Eh? what is going on i mean what is going on who has what is wrong in this party eh? we are by a whole president will be subjected to a mockery going to campaign and at the end of the day court ordinary high court eh? embarrasses the president and you come and tell me it's normal it's a pressure ta separation of what separation of what if the president don't want to interfere with the court at least he must get information from the court they must tell him look sir this person is winning the case hmm? this person is winning the case don't force us <coughs> i don't want to talk let's do the right thing we fought for this government we fought so hard you know we we fought so hard we really fought so hard we really fought so hard democracy does not mean embarrassing the president democracy is why the president have the information that see one was going to win the court case he says okay i'm not going to interfere let him win he already has the information you save the face of the president, save the face of the nation, and save the face of the government. Interfering with the case is that uh, the president receives information that C1 was going to win. Then he uses power to make the judge to make me lose. That is what that is interfering. That is dictatorship. Getting information and passing right information to the president does not mean dictatorship. No why because the people that are supposed to bring that information are not giving that information they don't know their job they are just a state house there to make deals that's all the only person that is doing something in state house is jito from the bottom of his heart the rest nothing they just want to make deal and become rich many of them have even become rich they have farms now with cows we are just watching we are not fools <laughs> we our eyes are like this <laughs> we want the right thing to be done for the people of zambia this is dj mutati exclusive all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.